Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we're taking a look at the new snapshot called 12W34A. Now there's a huge selection of new features, uh, mostly decorative stuff including plant pots, frames, new cobblestone walls and there's a lot of other bug fixes and a lot of new changes to some of the existing items so let's go ahead and take a look at the new stuff in this snapshot. Okay then, so let's take a look at the new system for placing trapdoors. Now this has been tweaked a little bit to allow you to sort of place them like you can with the half slabs. So uh, if you aim at the bottom of the block, you can um, place it at the bottom. And then if you destroy that and place it at the top, you can do the same. So uh, this is especially good, say if you had a floor around the um, in your house. So you didn't end up dropping down like a little hole every time you walked past. So uh, yeah, I like this new feature, it's pretty cool. Okay then, so let's take a look at one of the other new features, and that is carrots and potatoes, which can be farmed in the same way as wheat. Just place them on um, farmland next to water and they'll uh, start growing. Now you can create a baked potato by placing a potato in a furnace, and you can also create a golden carrot by surrounding a carrot with golden nuggets, and that can be used to create a night vision potion. Okay then, so another new feature are wooden buttons. These are created in the same way as normal stone buttons and can be used in the same way. Um, they're especially good if you want to disguise the button along with a wooden surface and one thing what these can actually be used for and stone buttons can't is if you grab yourself a bow and arrow and strike that the arrow will actually hit the button and um, make it work and will actually hold the button down so uh, it'll stay um, running. Okay then, so another new decorative item that's in the game are uh, frames. Now these are made by surrounding a piece of leather with sticks and they're placed on the wall by right clicking. And then whatever item you want to frame, so for this time I'm going to use a record, you just right click and it'll actually place that in the frame and every time you right click it will rotate until it goes around a full circle. Okay then, so these are one of my favourite decorative features that have been added so far and these are flower pots. Now uh, if you go ahead and make these, they're made by creating a bowl shape out of bricks in a crafting table. Uh, you just go and right click to place these down the ground, you'll get yourself a little flower pot. And you can place pretty much anything inside these, so you can place a rose, you can place a mushroom, you can place a fern, a sapling, and uh, the possibilities are pretty much endless. You can even place cacti. Okay then, so another new cool feature in this snapshot are the cobblestone and mossy cobblestone walls. Now these are made in the same way as you would with fences, by either filling the bottom two rows of a crafting table with cobblestone or mossy cobble. And uh, you just place them down by right clicking them, and um, yeah, they create this awesome looking pattern. You can place torches on top of it, if you place torches in the middle it creates like this little tiny um, stand for the torch. And uh, the mossy cobblestone and the normal cobblestone ones blend together into these awesome walls. Now you can't actually jump over this, so uh, they work in the same way as fences. And you can also stack these on top of each other to make a wall with sort of holes. I don't know if you can go one higher. Okay then, yes you can. So you can actually go as high as you want with these. And they have like these little tiny gaps in the middle, so they sort of look like castle walls. So I really, really like this new addition. Okay then, so another new feature which sort of adds to the customizability of the game is that you can now dye leather armour. All you do is walk up to a crafting table, place the armour inside and uh, add whatever dyes you want. Now, it's pretty much infinite amount of colours that you can get because you can keep adding different amounts of dyes. And uh, let's say you dyed your armour and didn't like that, you could just go and wash it off in a cauldron and uh, start again. Okay, and so while we're on the subject of uh, using dyes to colour things, you can actually now dye the colour of dogs' collars to tell the difference between them. All you do is grab yourself the colour you want, walk up to the dog and right click and um, it will actually change the colour. Now you can still use the red dye to change it back to the default colour but I really like the way you can change this because um, say if you had multiple dogs you could just choose which ones are which and so on. Okay then, another new feature is that hard mode has been made more harder and that fire spread has been changed depending on difficulty. So we're currently on peaceful as you'll see the fire is spreading quite slowly and if we turn this up to easy you'll see the fire speed increase and uh, normal it will increase even faster and then if we put ourselves onto hard mode which would be the same as hardcore you'll see how quickly the fire spreads it's it spreads about as quick as it used to in some of the old uh, versions of minecraft such as alpha and so on so uh, yeah this is this is going to be very exciting on service to say the least Okay, then another new tweak and sort of addition to the game is that the stairs now actually blend together when you place them in a corner. So if I went ahead and did this with the stairs, they would actually curve around the corner. Now this works with all the different types of stairs what are currently in the game at the moment. So I could just do this and if it actually let me, there we go. And keep doing that. Oh, okay, there we go. And uh, you could create some like funky looking staircases by doing this because it works really, really well. Okay then, so another new change, and this time it's to do with nether portals. You can actually now send animals and mobs through the portals. So if I went ahead and spawned myself a pig and pushed him into the portal, it would actually go to the nether. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. 
Okay then, moving on to the final thing for this video, and this is to do with maps. Now, as you know, maps uh, aren't a new feature. They've been in the game for a very long time. Um, but this is more of a sort of a change to the maps and made them a little bit more functional and usable and so on. So now when you make a map, you'll actually get a piece of paper, which is called an empty map. Now, to actually use this for the first time, you just right-click, and this uh, generates the map as you all know it. You can hover over it and use it like normal. Um, but the main change to maps now is that they work on a grid-like system. So when you generate a new map, off the boundaries of the current map it will actually link perfectly on the edges and not overlap and so on so uh, I really like this and also say if you was on a multiplayer server and you was working with friends or so on and they wanted the same map you had fully explored you can just go ahead and place a, the map in what you've got along with an empty map clone that and you get two which are exactly the same and also maps now show you the entire area you don't have to explore there to uh, have it show up on the map and uh, one other cool thing what I really like is uh, say if you wanted to go adventuring and you didn't want to carry all the um, materials you needed to make a map which is compass paper and a crafting bench like you used to all you do now is carry a stack of empty maps when you get to where you want just right click to generate a new one and uh, there you go okay then so moving on to the final thing in this week's snapshot and this is something I actually missed until I got around to editing this video together and uh, this is something called the wither boss now it's a new type of mob which has been added unfortunately I couldn't find one at the moment I did spend about 20 to 30 minutes looking for one and just couldn't find one so I'll have to throw in a screenshot off the reddit post for about this mob um, but apparently it dropped something called wither skulls now I'm not entirely sure what all this does yet because there isn't a lot of information out there at the moment about it um, but we'll hope to see something in the next few updates, more detailed about it, and uh, that'll be really cool. So that brings us on to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you want to download this uh, snapshot and try it out, there's always a link in the description. Just be sure to back up all your world saves and everything so you don't lose anything. And uh, if this video helped you out in any way, or if you enjoyed it, feel free to drop it a like. It does help me out a lot. And uh, also, come by and check out some of the other videos I've got on my channel. There'll be a link at the end to my most recent one. And I will see you all in the other video. So, cue the awesome music. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs>